welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Gianna Leanne and we're back with the famous TBR jar, but with a little bit of a twist, a little bit of a twist. I wanted to do this month's TBR incorporating the TBR jar because we love it so much, but I feel like I wanted to switch it up a little bit, make it a little bit more interesting for you guys, something new. I haven't seen this idea yet. I just like came up with it at like midnight when I was trying to fall asleep and I was like, I need to jot this down really quickly because I don't want this idea to escape me. So as you can see, we have a bunch of wrapped books. Looks a little bit different. This is where our TBR normally goes every single month But I thought for September that we still have the TBR jar with the wrap books because hear me out My mom actually decided my TBR technically I'm gonna try to explain this as best as I can because I'm very bad at explaining things Let's hope you understand my thought process and what went behind the planning of this video so I let my mom pick 10 TBR prompts out of this jar. I had all the other prompts in here as well. She picked 10. She read the prompt and she decided based on those prompts what she thought best fit the prompt. So instead of me choosing one and giving you guys options and me choosing, I let her do all that. Then she wrapped all of these books and she numbered the prompts and she numbered the wrapped books. So my job now is to pick seven of these prompts because we normally do seven books on my TBR, not 10. I can't even get through seven. Why would I do 10? So then I also kind of increases our odds. I don't know what she chose, but we're not going to read every single book she chose. We're only going to read the seven that we choose out of here. So that was the planning behind this video. I feel like it's going to be really fun. I'm very excited to see what books my mom chose. I hope you guys enjoy this little twist. And if you guys do like these types of videos, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up before we get into it and subscribe if you haven't already to join the family. I'd love to have you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna decorate this jar one time. I tell you guys I'm gonna decorate it every single TBR jar video and I never end up doing it. I hope she did choose some fall books though. Like I hope she didn't choose all romances because I'm in the fall mood. I want some thrillers, some spooky vibes, you know? First out of seven, I'm nervous. Okay, so this is book number nine. <laughs> it's a little thin one. A book with the title starting with the. Okay, mom, feels like it's Christmas. I do wanna do a little bit of a reading vlog, doing something like this, wrapping up some books and then doing like a random generator, picking like what one to unwrap. Oh my gosh. Okay, so she chose The Murder After the Night Before by Katie Brent. That was a pretty good prompt, mom, I can't lie. Did she choose all pink books? We're already starting off with a pink one and my mom is the walking, living, breathing Barbie. She loves pink. She's the definition of the color, so I'm not surprised that she chose this one, to be honest. But I picked this one up on a whim. It is a newer release. I have read a previous book by Katie Brent. I wasn't the biggest fan of it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So picking up her new release was a little bit of a risk, but I'm still excited to read it. She is sticking to the the fall vibes. I think this one's gonna be more funny though instead of just hardcore mystery thriller. I think it's gonna have like some dark humor in it. I think it's gonna be pretty funny. The last book I did read did have that dark humor but also extremely dark and gory. So I kind of already know what I'm getting into with this author. I really hope that this one is better than the last one but then again it seems like it can be interesting because the back says something bad happened last night. I've woken up with the hangover from hell, a stranger in my bed, and I've gone viral for the worst reasons but I can't remember a thing. My best friend Posey is dead. The police think it was a tragic accident. I know she was murdered. I don't know guys. It seems pretty interesting. Let me know if you guys have heard of this newer release. I know this author is not talked about that often, but this is going to be the first book on our September TBR. Mom did good. Second one. A very spicy book and that's number four. How does my mom know if the book's spicy? Maybe she read the descriptions and stuff like that. Very spicy book. Do I want to know what one she chose? Number four. Seems kind of thin. I love this wrapping paper. It's like glittery and cute. Let's just rip it open. Oh, it's a pink cover. <laughs> oh my. Call It What You Want by Alyssa Dora Goddess. Okay, my mom must know me pretty well because I've been wanting to read this the past few months and I just didn't get around to it. I'm actually really excited about this. I don't know if it's gonna be spicy though, mom. I don't know. But at this point, are we even surprised that she picked another pink cover book? I swear, if all of these are pink, <sighs> I'm not gonna be surprised, but I think it will be funny. This book though, I haven't heard anything about it to be honest, but it seems like it's a very messy situation ship slash relationship slash heartbreak slash recovering from that slash rebound slash just chaos. And you know, I love that. You know, we like to pick up those types of books around here. It's just a thing. A situation ship, a heartbreak, a mistake. You can call it what you want, but was it love? 
Please tell me that just that line alone that you guys aren't intrigued by this book. Because that's what made me pick it up. That single line that I was just like, I need this book. I don't care what goes on in it. I don't care who the characters are, where it takes place. I just need to know. I need to know what, what's the situation shift? What's the backstory on the heartbreak? Is it going to be toxic? I don't think it's going to be spicy though. As their chemistry and connection intensify, maybe. Sloane finds herself falling deeper and deeper, but will Ethan ever be ready to catch her? I feel like I've read a lot of books with the main character's name being Sloane lately. Anyways, this is gonna be the second book on our TBR. I will definitely update mom and let her know if this book is spicy because personally, I don't think it's gonna be too spicy. Is mom gonna keep her streak of pink books? Let's see. <laughs> this one. A book with hearts on the cover and that's book number 10. I think I know what one this is. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, it's coming undone. Okay, yeah. Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. I don't know if my mom's doing me a favor of putting this on my TBR or if she's just trying to torture me because one, do I really want to start this humongous series right now? And two, why is this book so long? This book is so chunky. It's literally a brick. This is my definition of a book brick. That is Binding 13. I do have two editions of this though, so I haven't decided what one I want to annotate and like mark up with tabs and stuff. I don't know if I want to do that with the UK covers or just keep these as like collectors because I've been wanting these covers for so long and then mark up the floppy floppy American edition. I don't know. I guess I'll just have to decide that if I do decide to end up picking this up for the month, but I mean, maybe it's just a sign. Maybe mom knew that I was gonna love the series and that I just have to start it and fall in love with the character. So maybe it was a sign from her, but I've heard so many good things about this series. I've been putting it off mainly because of how big it is. And I feel like once I do read the first one, I'm just gonna become so obsessed with it and wanna binge the rest of it. So I feel like it's gonna be a good time overall, even if if I don't love it, I still think it could be a four plus star series in my opinion. And on a side note, let me know if you guys want me to do a reading vlog of me reading all the books in the Boys of Tommen series. Obviously that video will take a very long time to get to you guys, but if you do want to see that and I do end up starting it, let me know if you guys want to see that. Spoiler free, obviously, and I'm excited for the chaos to brew in this book. I think it's going to be very messy and I think it's going to be very heartbreaking and I'm probably going to cry and that's saying a lot coming from me. So this is going to be the third book on our TBR. Thank you, Mom, for convincing me to put this on the TBR. Very nervous, but we'll see how it goes. Fourth prompt. There's like nothing in here, so it's like so hard to shuffle them. Okay. A book with a purple cover. This is book number three. Well, oh, this is a chunky one too. Oh, geez. Number three. What is it going to be? Look at me rhyming. We're starting another series, you guys. Oh, if only mom knew how many series I'm in the middle of right now, she might have chosen a little bit differently. But it's a Lauren Asher book, are you kidding? I'm always down for it. We have Love Redesign by Lauren Asher. I think this is her newest series that she's come out with. I could be completely wrong, but this is the newest one I've seen. It's the first one in the Lake Front Billionaire series. Another very chunky book, but Lauren Asher has quickly become one of my favorite authors this year specifically after I finished the Dreamland Billionaire series and I just love her writer. I love her writer. I love her writing and I love her banter. I love her spice. It's not too overwhelming and it's very like passionate. Like it feels real. It doesn't feel like you're reading some cringy smut that you know will probably never happen or is so unrealistic, you know? So that's what I like about her books. So I am excited to start this series if I do read it this month, but I know on the inside that I should not be starting another series. I don't know what this book's about though, like at all. I don't even know the tropes that go into this. I do know that it's kind of based around redesigning and just like the interior design I feel like Lauren Asher does that type of style best other than that though I have no idea maybe is it enemies to lovers our temporary truce becomes compromised as we face years worth of a denied attraction and mixed emotions giving into our desire is inevitable but falling in love that isn't part of the plan Either way, I am excited. Our main characters seem to have some tension already. We know how that goes. The tension starts brewing. This is gonna be the fourth one on our TBR. Very nervous. We only have three left, you guys. I just wanna pick all 10 because I wanna see what book she picked for all 10. But we're not gonna do that. A book continuing a series, and that's book number eight. Oh my, what, what could this one be? I'm trying to think, because I don't buy series in bulk. Like I kind of finish one book in the series and then I go out and buy the next one. Like I kind of do it one at a time. So I'm trying to remember what book I had that's next in a series. We shall see. Kind of nervous. Oh, it's Thrive. 
Diva. Thrive by Krista and Becca Ritchie, you guys. Okay, now this makes sense because mom knows how much I freaking adore the Addicted Slash Callaway Sister series. I've even convinced her to start reading it. I think she's on book three. So she read Addicted to You and Ricochet and now she's on Addicted for Now, I think is the third one. It's personally one of my favorites in the series and she's currently reading that. So I'm not surprised that she picked this one for the prompt. I didn't even remember that I had this book to be honest. Oh, I just love I just don't want this series to end either, so I feel like that's another reason why I just keep putting it off and not wanting to continue the series because as I get closer and closer to the end, I just know that there's gonna be a hole in my heart and I'm gonna feel empty after I finish the series, you know? I don't wanna say goodbye to the characters. I know there is a continuation of the series with like the kids, but that's not the same. It's just not the same. I feel like this is also a sign that mom's just telling me to continue. I do miss my favorite characters in this world. So I feel like I'm gonna prioritize this one. I feel like that's the plan. But I can see why she picked this up and I am excited for her to continue the series so then we can chat about it. And I did annotate most of the Addicted series books. So I'm curious to chat with her about her reading my annotations after because I feel like there's something so fun about reading a book and reading people's annotations while you're reading it. I don't know. I just love the power of annotating. So this is going to be our fifth book on our September TBR. I'm loving the lineup so far, and I hope the last two are gonna be just as good, or if not better. Six prompts, you guys. Two more. Okay, we're feeling pink. Oh, did I get two? Nope, this is just one. Show a book that matches my outfit. Do you guys know what I'm thinking? Yeah. This is for book number seven. I, I just, I just know it's gonna be pink. <laughs> it's gonna be pink. Oh, wow. Kind of a shock, can't lie. Kind of a shock. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alterton. Actually, wait, this was on my TBR last month. I mean, I didn't get around to reading it, but it was on my TBR last month. So we do have a repeat. I'm really surprised about this book. Like this is one that I'm just like, I'm kind of shocked about. There is a little bit of pink in there though. I'm trying to think of like what outfit she was wearing that would have these colors and stuff like that. <laughs> this is why this is so fun. Cause like, it's all based on my mom's picks, not mine. Some of these are completely different than what I would have picked, you know? But I have been meaning to read this book. It is available on Kindle Unlimited. I remember towards the end of last month, I was just gonna start it and I just ran out of time time from the end of the month so I wasn't able to get to it. Maybe this is my second chance to read it. It is a memoir. I do love my memoirs and I haven't read one in a while but maybe I will learn some life lessons and hear some funny stories and maybe get some heads up on a few things or insights on things about growing up and becoming an adult and stuff like that. I don't know. I'm here for it though. I feel like it's gonna be a good one. I feel like it could be four plus stars. I just I have a good feeling about this book you know. Thank you mom for choosing this because she probably knows that I need to get it off my TBR. This is gonna to be our sixth book on our TBR. Okay, you guys, there's four books left and I only get to choose one more prompt. This is sad, I wanna choose more. So I better choose a good one. I'm like really scared. <laughs> I don't know what one to choose. Oh, we got purple. A book with more than 400 pages? Oh no, this is book number one. Please do something good if it's 400 pages long. Oh, I think I know. <laughs> she literally picked the biggest book on my TBR other than Binding 13. Bad Reputation by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Maybe mom just picked a lot of books based on like the authors that she likes, Krista and Becca Ritchie. I mean, I can't blame her though because they are my favorite authors. I really thought to myself that I could potentially finish my TBR this month, but now looking at our lineup, it's not looking too great. But I have been meaning to read this as well. This has been on my TBR for over two years now, I wanna say. My best friend Lily did read it. She said she she thoroughly enjoyed it and she doesn't really like the Addicted Slash Callaway Sister series. So with her saying that she didn't really like that one, but she did really like this one, I have high hopes. I think this is like kind of a spinoff or something a little bit separate, but a lot of people have recommended to me to read this after I finished the Addicted Slash Callaway Sister series. So now I'm kind of on the fence if I really want to read this this month before I obviously finish the series. I don't know. I feel like I've asked you guys to let me know down below before and I've gotten some mixed answers. Like some people have read it while they're reading the Addicted Slash Callaway Sister series and then other people have waited until they're finished so then they read this one. I just don't know. I don't want to read anything out of order or like spoil anything for myself like you know. I just don't know but oh wow. There's a very protective older brother going on in this one. He has a bad reputation. She's yet to carve one of her own. The more their paths cross the more Willow realizes maybe just maybe they're exactly what each other needs. 
I don't know you guys. I'm very on the fence about reading this, but we are still gonna put it on the TBR because mom did choose it for us. And we'll just see how it goes. Let me know if you guys have any thoughts about this book or kind of the reading order if you guys know. I know this one out of Krista and Becca Ritchie's backlist isn't as talked about and it's harder to find. Just let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below. But these are all the books that mom and my TBR jar chose for me this month in September to read. I feel like we have a decent lineup, you guys, but these books are pretty chunky and I am a pretty slow reader, I want to say. So we'll see how many we actually end up getting to this month. But we are going to do a quick little recap. First chunky book, we have Love Redesigned by Lauren Asher. I am extremely excited to start this series. The more that I think about it and knowing that it's on my TBR, I am pretty excited for it. I can't lie. So I feel like it could be a good time. Maybe pretty spicy. Then we have have the Murder After the Night Before by Katie Bren. This one does seem to be shorter than the other ones on our TBR, so I feel like I could use it as a little bit of a refresher from all the other romances that we have going on this month. It's pink, the cover's gorgeous, could have some dark humor, we don't know. I'm excited. We have Thrive by Krista and Becca Ritchie. Fifth one? Is it the fifth one? Sixth one. I think this is the sixth in the series. I'm getting close to the end. I think this is either the fifth or the sixth. I don't remember off the top of my head right now, but I'm excited slash very sad to continue this series. Everything I Know About Love by Dolly Alderton. We love a good memoir moment. I just feel like I need to stop putting this one off. I feel like I'm actually gonna learn some things from it. I don't know anything about the author, so I feel like I'm gonna obviously really get to know her after I read her book. The Chunkiest Book Ever, Binding 13 by Chloe Walsh. I really hope that I take the leap and start this series. Like I said, I feel like I'm gonna really, really enjoy it, and then I can finally get into the hype of everyone talking about this series, and I can bring in my own opinion to this whole community. I feel like this whole series as a whole, the Boys to Tommen series, has formed a whole community outside of book talk and booktube. It's just become their own because of how talked about it is. Let me know if it's worth the read and if I should really prioritize this this month. Call It What You Want by Alyssa Darrogoddess. Definitely a book that's kind of underground. It's underrated. Haven't heard anyone talk about it, so if I do read it, I'm excited to give you guys my fresh opinions because I haven't seen it anywhere else on the internet. And we love a good pink cover moment, and I'm hoping that it gets messy. And lastly, Bad Reputation by Kristen Becker Ritchie. Don't know if I'm gonna read this one for sure. I'm not gonna promise you guys anything because one, we have so many books here that are pretty chunky and two, I just don't know if I should read this in the middle of the series. I'm just, I'm very conflicted. I'm very nervous. I don't wanna spoil anything. So I don't know, we'll have to see. If you guys want to see me unwrapping these three books and knowing what my mom chose corresponding to the prompts that are still in the jar, make sure you guys check down below for my Patreon. I will be opening these with them and that little clip will be going to them and them only. So if you guys want to see that along with so many other sneak peeks and behind the scenes and basically everything out of my life that I don't post on YouTube, make sure you guys check that link. But that is our TBR. It's very chunky. It's a lot. I'm not gonna lie. I'm very, very, very nervous. This is definitely a very ambitious TBR that my mother has chosen for me. I don't know if she was trying to torture me. I don't know if she did it by accident. I don't know. But this video was so freaking fun. I absolutely love doing this. I love switching it up a little bit, still keeping the TBR jar around, but changing it up. It was just really fun. So let me know if you guys want to see this again or anything similar. Maybe I could do like my best friend does this for me or just give me ideas. I love taking your feedback. I love reading your comments. I do read every single one of them. So just, just let me know. But overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff you guys know how to do. Don't forget my Patreon link down below there. And lastly, I hope you all are having an amazing, wonderful day. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Should we put all of our TBR books up here too? Yeah, why not? Six minutes? Gianna. <laughs> Mom. Let's do a little doo -doo 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 -doo. Oh, we're sticking. Why are we sticking? But I do feel like it will be a perfect fall thing. We're all falling. Ah. I hate tape, it's so sticky. I officially cannot feel my toes. We love a good memoir. We love a good memoir.